Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. Yes, this is a time where we like to dress up. We like to pretend. You know, we like to conjure up dead spirits and do all these sort of things uh, on the side of darkness that we call fun. But terror and pain, how could that be fun? It just sounds insane. Play dress up with a pretend name. <laughs> God has made us new. He does not want us the same, my friends. We don't want to play with darkness. But there is something about fear that seems to entice us. We want to play with it sometimes. But listen to what the Bible tells us. One, we know that in 2 Timothy 1, 7, the Bible tells us that fear is a spirit and God has not given us a spirit of fear. In uh, 1 John chapter 4 and verse 18, the Bible tells us perfect love, it casts out fear. In the book of Joshua 1, 9, uh, God tells him, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed. Be strong and courageous. And Paul tells us also in Ephesians, to family, my brothers, be strong in the Lord. In Proverbs 1, 9, it says, whoever trusts in God will be safe. But I want you to listen to something else because we're not walking according to a, a spirit of fear. We don't play with fear or we don't play with darkness. God has made us new. He does not want us the same. I know it might seem like all fun and games to everyone, but let me tell you something, my friends. We have been given a mission and that is to tell the world about our Lord Jesus Christ. It is urgent. People are dying every day out of the Lord Jesus Christ. People need to hear the gospel message. But listen to what uh, Jesus says in Luke chapter 12, verse 4 and 5. Even though we know fear is not a spirit, I mean, we know that fear is a spirit, what the Bible tells us. Jesus says, I'm going to tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body. After that, they can do no more. He says, don't be afraid of the people that can kill the body. We are living in a constant state of fear, aren't we? We're so afraid that we're going to die. But my friends, death was conquered on the cross when our Lord Jesus Christ died for us. And Jesus here is saying in Luke 12, 4 and 5, he said, I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who can kill the body. After that, they can do no more. But verse 5, he says, listen to this. But I show you who should fear, who you should fear. This is who you should fear, my friends. The one who, after you have been killed, has authority to throw you into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Did you hear what I just said? That's in the book of Luke 12, verse 4 and 5. I show you who you should fear. The one who has the authority to throw you into hell. Yes, I tell you, this is the one you should fear. This is what Jesus is saying. I said in the earlier uh, lesson, I says, you know, the dead have gone and they went in haste. But while we are still here, we need to secure our place. We need to get firm and stand firm on our Lord Jesus Christ. Grab hold of the word of God, my friends. Now is not the time to play with darkness. I know it might be fun to a lot of people but you know what that plan with darkness invites the enemy into your heart it puts you in a very defenseless position where you struggle with a lot of mental issues you might say oh that's all for fun it's all for play my friends you study the scriptures you look into the bible darkness is real satan is real he wants to destroy you and what he wants to do is enter into your heart. See, the battle is in your mind, but the prize is your heart. And a lot of people are struggling. You know, there used to be a saying, you play with fire, what happens? You get burnt. What happens when you play with darkness? Be careful, man. We do not want to do that. My friends, Jesus said, fear the one who has the authority to throw you into hell. Now is the time to secure your place. In Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 10, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, 
What do you mean the fear of the Lord? This respect, this reverence for God, the knowledge of this holy understanding. That's right, my friends. It is the beginning of wisdom. We are to have a fear for the Lord. You know, uh, Solomon writes in Ecclesiastes, the whole duty of man is to fear God and to keep his commandments, to respect him and keep his commandments. That is the whole duty of man. If you want to search for all these answers for why I'm here and what I should be doing and what's my calling and where should I go, what job should I take, who should I marry? He says the whole duty of man is to fear God and keep his commandments. And you know what the biggest problem I think is with a lot of Christians who are siding with the world? They have no fear of God. They don't fear him. My friends, playing with darkness is a dangerous thing. Oh, you might think it's all for fun to dress up and pretend. But my friends, God, he's made us new. He doesn't want us to sing. Fright and terror and pain, how could that be fun? It just sounds insane. And like I said, I'm not trying to rain on your parade, my friend. I just want to show you something what the scripture says about this darkness and playing with it. We don't want to go there. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101 as we talk more about these things. Thank you, my friends.